Hello, friends and fellow adventurers. What a peaceful atmosphere. I, I like I loaded in here and I thought, wow, this is just lovely, isn't it? I hear a, it sounds like a cat. It sounds like something meowing. Well, I think what we're going to do right away is we're going to head out uh, back to town here because I gathered the ingredients for us to go and do some building. And the, interestingly, there was a screen tip when I loaded up. It said, talk to citizens to get more ideas for building. That's interesting. Like, does that actually open up new, uh, ooh, um, I was expecting to run. <laughs> hey, skateboarder, what's going on? I don't want to own a house. Home sweet home. I don't enjoy going to work, but once I'm there, I don't mind it. Work, 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 work. Imagine a higher place of learning, something better than the basic school. See, like that seems, I feel like it would need to be a school that exemplifies the height of mental and physical accident excellence. I don't want to own a house. Looking for, uh, no, I'm not looking for pet supplies. Uh, no, okay, I'm going to stay away from you, pet trainer. All right, at any rate, oop. <laughs> I keep forgetting I can't run fast. I want to do the go fasties, but I, I can't do that. But I will smash this. What'd I get? Ah, I don't even need it. All right, let's see if we can do some building. Now, I wanted to get, basically, build the farm. Uh, another farm, wasn't it? Uh, wow, 4,800 is that one. Okay. Now, that's quality of life and economy. That one's quite good. But I wanted to unlock some other buildings. So I could see that we had, uh, which one's had? There we go. So the workshop here and the workbench. So let's put in another workshop somewhere. Uh, I'll put it this way. Okay, and then I can build another workbench. Now these are weird. Okay, that's I've already got one there. I guess I could put another one there. Okay. Um, and we could build. I mean, this only gives me an economy of two, but the cost of building it is really low. So I'm build another one down over this way, so they've got something working on. Oh, perfect. A little spot right there. Okay, so we've maxed these out. So if I was to go to design, uh, and I go that, and I go that, does that open up? It does. Okay. The factory. So, but look at the, the cost on this is through the roof. <laughs> Economy of 250. However, 14,000 wood is my input. Um, a little bit steep. A little bit steep. Now this, I'll uh, build two more times. I see, so I can build, for instance, another market. Oh, let's build again. I want to go build, not that. Let's build another market. Okay, now these are tiny, right? So we can go and plonk a market down in one of those weird little spaces I've basically set out. Um, that's a little too small and weird a space. How is this space here? Sure. Okay, so now um, that opens up my ability now to build uh, the spice merchant. Uh, now this does, it doesn't, oh, maybe not. No, the large store, that's what I wanna build. Wow. Okay, it's a negative two five energy to visitors. That's interesting, but it gives me an economy bump of 50. Now hold the phone. I could almost build that. Does it actually build it in an L shape? No, it doesn't. It looks like it wants to, but it doesn't. Okay, then we will build this thing. Oh boy, where do we want to build this? Uh, maybe we'll go right here and we'll build it that away. All right, so there we go. We built one of those mammoth things. Um, I think we're good on everything else here, so I don't know if we've ceilinged on that or not. So it's exciting. We've got a few more designs going. This thing just requires more wood than we have the capacity to do. Um, we can build more of the two-story homes, though, and these would host... Uh, let's see, what does it give me? Workers, guests... Uh, Quality of life, 20. I don't know that I need 
quality if quality of life is my problem at the moment, however. Oh, uh, let's see here. So we're trying to be, kind of work our way through some of these um, main things here. Okay, uh, quality of life. Yeah, it's it's we're doing okay. So we're four stars on quality of life, four stars on economy. Culture is our big problem. That is the biggest issue. So I'm still not sure if we need to do a design that's going to be related to culture. Or again, if I just need to run into somebody here. I mean, like, you know, this thing gives me a culture of 10. That was pretty good. Um, it's still not that much. Militia and government. Yeah, no, the culture. You, and you would expect, like, this would give me more culture. It gives me a tiny, the puppet show wagon. I guess we'll, we'll plonk down. See, we've got eight of these things, and yet, so maybe if I was to combine, what what would you want? A puppet show, combined with um, a spice merchant. Um, it's interesting. It's now lock this again, the large store. Uh, I don't think there is anything that we could really, you know, combine with the puppet show. I feel like a toilet. I don't know. Puppet show seems finicky. So, I, you know, as in forms of entertainment, I don't know that we can provide any other forms of entertainment. Hmm. I'm a bit uh, flummoxed. I'm not sure exactly how we want to do that. All right. So we're out here. We're out of Vigil Pines. We were doing a bunch of uh, work. <laughs> I was cutting up stuff. Oh, you know what? We still have enough wood. I could makes more housing. Maybe we want to do that because we are sort of at a point where we could use some extra housing. Okay. Let's see. Uh, the culture, quality of life. Yeah, I don't know. I still am kind of torn because we really do need the economy. And this one... Um, it's economy five, quality of life. I guess we could do another moderate sized farm. Sure, why don't we do that? Oh, and that's not quite enough room. Like we've got our farms maybe a little close together. How about over here? Can we build a farm right here? Seems like a perfect place to build a farm. Can build another one. There we go. Okay, that's that should keep them happy for a little bit. I'm gonna need more resources soon enough. We're down to 100 trees. So, uh, and then we were over. Where did? Oh, we came back to town. That's where we came. All right. Well, let's talk to a few more local citizens and see if there is anything else. Okay. Bookstores are just libraries. I try to be as productive as possible. This is what happens when all my needs are met. Oh. All right, how about you? I can't wait to be home. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know the feeling, buddy. Okay, how about you? I don't enjoy... Okay, no. Let's go talk to some of the farmers, perhaps. I'm really looking forward to taking a nap. Yeah, exactly. Contributing to this town is important to me. I'm doing my part. It is amazing how many... Um, how varied the village is. Ooh, I wish I knew how to make a circus tent. Ah. Okay, so there you go. That's a hint. So a, a circus tent is a entertainment structure plus a tent. So that's interesting because we know how to make, you know, some kind of tented structure, like a tent. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> we don't want this. But what I do want to do is I want to design, and I want to take a tent and a puppet show. Oop. Sorry, a puppet show and a tent. Now, I don't think I've tried that. There we go. We have learned a circus tent. Okay, that is excellent. So let's try building now. So there we go. It's really fascinating. Uh, I do not have enough. But what this would give me is a culture of 50. A economy of 20. Okay. That's uh, that's decent. Is what that is because I need a culture of 50 
So that's really what I need next. I need that, that tent. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to go and... Um, it's, it's a conundrum. What do I want to tackle here? I, very soon I want to go and do the puzzle. I was feeling that... I, but I wanted to get some resources first and kind of um, get this area sort of stripped of resources so that I could build stuff. It's just catch-22 in this game. You, you want to, like, do all the puzzles, but you also want to, like, I, I really want to build. It's it's super, it's funny. I find it's, I, I oscillate between these two activities. I think the farther we get into the game, um, the more you get drawn into one specific activity because you, you really want to uh, complete it. Like with the building, you really want to just see the variation come together. You want to see everything sort of work together and I don't know, it's yeah, it's really funny. I I think initially when the game started, you, when it's not clear what you need to focus on, uh, it's a it's different. I picked one and I ran with it. But now that I we played it a bunch, I uh, like I get how I should have played the game. And that's how it always is when we play a game, I find. I can there's probably people who play games, you know, uh really balanced the first time they play through. I tend to find I, I do the thing I feel like doing. I mean, the purpose of playing games is to just chill. <laughs> it's to relax. So I play them a certain way, which is tending to be to do the activities that I really feel like doing. So if I feel like mining, I'll just go do that. And, you know, some games are very forgiving. Um, I mean, a recent example would be a game like Animal Crossing, where there's no kind of you kind of do whatever the heck you want and that's all that's fine you get rewarded for whatever that activity is but games like this that have more linear objectives like you got to do the stuff before you can do the other stuff and you need to do that stuff in order to you know it's just it's a progression that's gated to other progression um sometimes you don't feel like going and puzzling or sometimes you don't feel like gathering resources but unfortunately you kind of have to in order to progress. And so there's a, uh, we've already kind of wandered up in this mess, haven't we? Um, it's, yeah, it's an interesting one. It's a, it's difficult building a game like this. Like even a game like Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild, which, you know, had some of this stuff in its DNA. I think it's got a combination of puzzling RPG elements. You don't, you, I mean, you kind of did get to build your own little village thing. There's a, uh, there's a lot of those elements, but the, um, you, you, I still felt like I had more autonomy. Like I really wasn't being pulled to do anything specific. You could just wander around and that was very fulfilling. I don't know in this one wandering around is quite as fulfilling. Your NPC encounters are, you know, th there isn't really any, or they're very limited. You're going to talk to villagers. 250 for a tree is really nice. It's, uh, I am motivated to stay in this area, even though it's a little slow going. You get so many resources for one of these, like even these little dinky trees here. Just little tiny tater tot trees. This will probably drop like what? Probably another 250. 190. <laughs> it's really quick. So it's hard to, to run away from this. Um, but yeah, with I think without having... Uh, and that was 210, not bad. Without having conflict as your driving force, which I love, that's what I like, I do really appreciate about this game is that it's, it, it took out conflict as a, um, a thing. And, but when you walk around a landscape long enough, uh, especially when we've been trained by games that view the everything as around conflict, it's really peculiar because the landscape feels very quiet and almost like preternaturally quiet almost dead so we're, we've gotten so um we've gotten so trained by video games to expect there to be stuff happening and sometimes stuff doesn't just happen but this is a lovely game environment right now like this it has some mystery to it has some some interest and excitement uh that adds a little bit so it's like you if you've taken out the npc that is going to provide the conflict uh, the landscape itself has to provide some kind of... It has to compensate in some way. And that's a, that, that'd be tricky. 
I, I imagine from a design point of view, to come up with the stuff that makes you still sort of driven. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you go about it. Yeah, I guess it's the, the combination of having a lot, you know, like Zelda had a lot of puzzle sites. This also has a lot of puzzle sites. I mean, not even as many. What was it like 200 and some shrines, I think, in Zelda? It was, isn't it something obscene like that? It's a ridiculous amount. Um, whereas this does still have a lot. It's, it's a different game, but there is a lot of interesting similarities in terms of like, how mixing and matching what is this huh i've never seen that one up there um sort of mixing and matching are um you know the act the activities how to keep us motivated and stimulated while we're playing this there we are huh there's a tree back behind me there as well i'm gonna go get that so we got 36 total now. I don't even remember what we need, like 120 or something again? It was some really absurd amount. Well, I don't feel like we're going to need it anytime soon. I'm, I'm fascinated by this idea. Like, it seemed like an impossible number. Okay, slow down there, buddy. Slow down. It seemed like an impossible number initially because we were so far away from it. Because we didn't know um, that all these other regions would open up. Although even looking at, like sometimes when you look at maps in games, you go, is that actually a region I can go to? Or is it just kind of like a pretendy thing? Like it's like, oh yeah, look at how, ma how big the map is. And in this game, the, it really is. The map is enormous. <laughs> uh, surprisingly so, in fact. I, I did not expect the map to be anywhere near this big. Now, I think we must be close to the point where we can um, head over and... Uh, get that other uh, get that tent the circus tent going you got 1800 wood i feel like it was something along those lines wasn't it let's wander over here though let's see if we can spot any trees on the way back it's bananas it really is oh floating bush it's hard to see stuff it's hard to uh have a grasp of what's actually off in the distance here I don't even, I don't quite remember where, where exactly did we come at this from? We Well, we were near a, a, a teleporter point, which was near a puzzle, like a questing place. I felt it was over this way. And there's no more trees, which suggests to me that we did kind of deplete this area. No, this is definitely not it, though. <laughs> I'm now under the belly of the monster. Oh, there's a tree. Okay, perfect. A little bit of gold, a little bit of tree. Let's cut this down. And then we'll head back and see if we can do some building at this point. And I, these these quests were a little bit... Oh, I'm, not, I'm missing more than I had. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 2,000 wood. That should do it. And we'll be at like 3,000 gold. And then we'll go build that. We're like 3,000 rocks still. We didn't use much rock. Oh yeah, this is a, that's a lot of gold. 300 and 400 gold. 400 gold. Astounding. Uh, let's head over and see if we can build. Okay, let's build that tent. Let's entertain some peeps. This thing is enormous. Where do we want to build it? Okay. <laughs> And uh, let's see here. So that's good. Well, look at we took our culture to the next level. So we need another 400. <laughs> another 400. That's an astounding amount. Wow. Uh, it does make me. I'm curious now, though, if I were to go into design mode. Now, what sort of designs, do, you know, things could we make that are going to be. So they're going to be looking for something that's a little bit more like. Well, the, none of those make any sense. Um, some of these other mercantile things, I would have wondered. Guess not. 
I, I'm wondering if you actually have to unlock someone talking about it. Huh. Yeah, interesting. So we don't quite know yet what the next thing is going to be that's going to cause that to unlock. Again, I kind of wonder if it was a, a combination of um, just unlock working things and then talking to folks. I don't know. What do you got to say? Built a library into their home. See, that's a... That kind of, again, suggests to me... Uh, let's try here. Library and workshop. A teacher. So a... A teacher that built a library into their home. Oh, oops. No, I want to have... The teacher. And then I want to have a home. So it does seem like combining the houses is a big deal. So we have to build one more small thing, I see. Uh, hmm. Perhaps it wasn't. Pet center, warehouse, pet shelter, outhouse. And that is education, so I don't know. If you, if you don't have a teacher that built a library, the housing, we don't seem to have a library. Small store, large store, spice merchant, merchant stall, industry, workbench, workshop, deluxe workshop, factory. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. we got to figure that one out still. It's interesting. We'll get there, though. So I think next time I may go and take the gang and go do some puzzling. And now that we've, um, you know, brought the uh, the town a little bit uh, closer to wealth. Oh, statue shouldn't be too much different from making a fountain. <laughs> like what these things? It is. It, it just it does kind of astound me. Um, like a statue and a fountain. <laughs> where's where's our? I don't even know. Now environment. Like are we still now trying to make? different environment things? Do we need to like combine some path with something else to create some sort of thing? No, we can't make that. Huh. That These are the things. It's interesting though. You get these little hints. And which one has a fountain? Well, who's to know? <laughs> I felt it might be that one, actually. That has a little bit of stuff happening. That's not a fountain. No, it's definitely not a fountain. All right, well, we're going to leave it at that. Next time we come back, we're going to go do a big puzzle, I think. All right, we will see you then. Bye-bye.